my, my love is coaching, so it's uh, given this opportunity to purely focus on coaching, no distractions, and knowing that the rest of the organization is, uh, is doing a real professional job. I'm really happy with the, the makeup of this team, the composition of, we have everything. We have skill, we have toughness, we have good skaters, checkers, great defense. Well, they're certainly going to see a team that's going to play with energy. Ja, sicher, dass man schon auch Arbeit jeden Tag. Das ist, etwa, das ist sicher eines das Wichtigste und dass es kein Days Off gibt bei ihm und äh, dass es nur eins gibt und das ist Vollgas. Das sind die, die Überraschungsplay, die man, die man von ihm kennt, die wird er sicher reinbringen und ich glaube äh, das Ganze gemischt mit unseren Stärken, die wir haben als Mannschaft haben, äh, gibt es einen sehr guten Mix. Ich glaube, der Chris hat äh, die eine die ein der Sachen hat das sicher mitgenommen von Genf und ich glaube, er hat sich viel geändert und er ist, hat sich vielleicht ein bisschen ruhiger ruhig geworden, aber da sehen wir dann auf dem ersten Match auf dem Bank, ob er dann ausläuft oder nicht. When you're really trying to apply it with the way you want your team to play, you never really get to Nirvana. You never really hit the, the, the final chapter. You're always as a point in it. You're always in a process of teaching the guys, bringing them along, reinforcing your system, reinforcing the way you want to play, reinforcing your DNA as a team. And this is a, this is this is the fun part of coaching. You counter with each other, and then you give it up to the defenseman. We give it to the defenseman. Um, you get it back, and then you give it. When you're trying to occupy both jobs and at the same time being an owner, it didn't allow me a lot of time to spend with the players and really getting to know them maybe as personally as I, as I wish I could. For me, whether you're stationed with one team or coming to a new team, it's uh, you're always dealing with new elements and trying to keep cutting edge, trying to keep ahead of your competition. Come early, stay late. It's, <laughs> so for me, uh, this business, uh, you have to get up, uh, you have to get up with the chickens. You got to get up early. You have to come in. You have to make sure you're very prepared for the players. And then uh, the preparation for tomorrow starts right after practice. If you're not prepared to sleep at the office, uh, and certainly if you're not willing to, to match their work ethic, you're going to be left behind. You know, we moved to, to, to Lugano as a family, and you, you can only do this job if you've got to put both feet in. And the only way you can, uh, can effectively do the job, you've got to be on it every day, and you have to be committed. If the players, the organization, or the fans think for one moment you're not committed to uh, personally making the sacrifice of, um, of doing the work every day, you have to be part of the environment, part of the atmosphere, part of the culture, and that's the only way you can truly do your job. I really cannot wait. I'm looking forward to getting back in front of the fans and, you know, and just getting back into the pit, getting back into the fight and, and uh, try my best. And this is, uh, there's no better job in the world.